What's going on, gang? I wasn't going to make this video, but Uncle Jesse insisted on it. So here it is. I'm going to show you this weathering technique that I use to make things real dirty, dusty, muddy, you know, really messed up looking. So let's take a look. So as many of you know, on the internet world, I have been remaking my Halo Landfall ODST kit. And we're just about finished with this build. As you can see, this chest plate is violently dirty. Everything, front, back. Um, I would flip it around, but it's a little bit of a chore. But it's it's dirty. It's real dirty, right? You know, down here, all the crevices on the belt, just, you know, it's gross. So today I'm going to show you how I did this on the boots. So let me take you over this direction and show you the products we'll be using. So this is what I used to get that dirty grimy look on the chest plate. These Mungyo pastels. Now you might be asking, Daryl, why did you use pastels? Why didn't you buy some Vallejo effects pigments or Tamiya weathering palettes? I have that stuff. It's just expensive stuff. So this is a much cheaper method. I think these are like nine or 10 bucks a piece. And also the same with these Vallejo pigments. They're like eight or nine bucks a piece. I picked up this entire palette for $12 on Amazon. And all you have to do is pick your color combination as you see some are missing here. Pick your color combination, get some little empty things and smash up the pigments till you got some dust. Same as you would get in these, dust. So yeah, these nice, shiny, gorgeous shins, boot cover, whatever you want to call it for the ODST. We're going to beat it up. Not really, but just with some pastels and paintbrushes. So uh, let's get to it. I don't know why I looked away. I, I was looking at the pastels. Don't, don't pay me attention. Let's, let's, let's cut. To start it off, we're gonna need a couple cups of water, a dark mud pigment, and a light mud pigment. We're gonna take a little bit of our pigment in a Dixie cup, mix it up with some water, and start applying it all over the piece. Then with the tissue, crumple it up and start removing some of that mud. For the second pass, you're gonna mix up a thicker, more paste-like mud and cover the piece. To help expedite the drying, use a hair dryer or heat gun. On the toe cap, I'm adding a thick layer of the darker mud pigment. You'll see what I'm gonna do next. We're gonna help give this some definition with a lighter coat after we've covered the entire toe cap with the dark coat. Once again, we're going to take our tissue and blot away some of the mud. This just helps give texture and definition to your piece once you start adding other colors into it. Don't forget that heat gun if you're trying to speed up the process. Now we're moving over to the lighter mud texture, or color I should say, and we're going to just dab it in sporadic locations all over. You don't want to cover the entire boot because we're going to use this as a highlight color to kind of bring out more of a dried mud tone. So you don't want to cover the entire thing, you just kind of want to stipple it on in certain areas, pick up any runs, and then we're going to go back in with our tissue and dab it away. Alternatively, you can use a sea sponge to give yourself a little bit more texture and variety on the piece, which is nice. I know you saw that paint flick. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. 
And here's the last key to the puzzle. Once you're satisfied with the dirt, mix yourself up a thick paste, grab a toothbrush, dip it in there, and we're just going to take our thumb and flick it all over the piece. See, I told you we were going to explain that. So what this does is it adds another layer of texture and variety, simulates a splashed mud effect all over the piece, and you can go as mild or wild with this as your heart desires. And that's it. We're finished. Sit back and enjoy your final product. This technique was really fun and it helps sell a whole new level of realism with your costume. I mean, these boots really look like they've been through something. And by something, I mean mud puddles. And there you have it, faux mud. Made from some really cheap pastels. You just gotta grind them up, throw some water in there, make that muddy paste, slap them on your prop piece, and you have a very convincing look. Now all the items that I use will be listed in the description below. They are Amazon affiliate links, so feel free to click on those and pick up any of the products that I used here in this tutorial today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Daryl of Off Earth 3D, and until next time, never be afraid to suck at something new. Peace.